Hello you guys and welcome back to another slow cooker Sunday. I am so excited about these. It is so much fun using my crock pot and trying to come up with new recipes. And this week I'm sharing two really easy dessert recipes. They are so good. And tonight we are making apple crisp, which is perfect. It's officially fall and the weather here is in the 70s. It is just so cozy and perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and we are gonna get started. So to get started, I am peeling and slicing about six Granny Smith apples. I think Granny Smith apples are the best when baking, so that's what I always use, but you can use whatever you like. And then when you're slicing these, be sure to slice them pretty thin. I do not like a chunky apple whatsoever, plus they take longer to cook, so just make sure to slice them um, pretty small. And then for our not our topping, but for our ingredients to go with our apples, you're gonna use a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and about one teaspoon of cinnamon. I definitely probably used way more cinnamon. <laughs> and then for your topping, you're gonna use a half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of oats, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, and then about a half a cup of cold butter, and you're gonna mix it together. I use my hand, but you can also use a fork. Okay, so now that I have everything kind of mixed together, I am going to go ahead and put it in my crock pot. So I've already sprayed it with non-cooking spray. And so then I'm just going to put my apples right in the bottom. And they have already started to caramelize a little bit, which is exactly what you want. So I've got those in the bottom. And then for my topping, it I think has a little too much butter in it, but it'll be fine. Um, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it right over top. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going to kind of come together anyways. And then we are going to pop the lid on this and cook it on high for about two hours. So I'll just click four and then I will come back and check it in four hours and just make sure our apples are nice and tender. So for today's crock pot dessert recipe, we're doing a dump and go dump cake and I am doing a cherry version of that. There are so many different versions that you can do, but I love the cherry one. It is my favorite. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this recipe, but it only takes two hours in your crock pot. So I love it, especially if I need something last minute. I usually have these ingredients in my pantry. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you all around and we are going to get started. So in the bottom of my crock pot, I did two cans of cherry pie filling, and then I only used about a half a box of yellow cake mix, and I poured that right over, and then I sliced about a half a cup of butter into small slices and put that right over top. Okay, so I've got all of my butter on top and you wanna make sure you have plenty of butter, otherwise it's gonna be really powdery. So now I'm just going to pop the lid on this and we are gonna cook it on high for about two hours. So I'll come back and check it in two hours and just make sure um, our cake on top is nice and done. So this has been going for about three hours and it looks really good. I love that the outer edge got a little bit crispy. So now I'm just going to put it in my bowl and then I will taste test it and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna taste test this really fast. I only have a couple of minutes before no one needs me again, but I wanna let y'all know just how good it is. It's still really hot. Mm-hmm. so good i love that the cake is super super moist especially in the middle and then you also get a bite of crunch because the outer edge got really done so i think it's perfect i'll probably only do about two and a half hours um instead of three because there are a few burnt pieces but i don't mind it it is still really good so i will leave the full recipe for this down below thank y'all for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed it and if you try out these recipes then let me know i love to hear from you guys and as always if y'all are new around here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see y'all in my next one bye